again, uh, congratulations on being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, I have a few questions to ask you that uh, you can let people know a little bit more about yourself. Uh, what individual had the greatest impact in your wrestling career? Well, I'd, I'd have to say that was Coach Erwin Goldblum. He was my high school coach at Simi Valley High School. And Coach Goldblum convinced me that I had a better history in wrestling than I did at basketball, which, is, which I was doing at that present time. And then uh, I just, just had a tremendous amount of respect for him all through high school. And, and it was really special. In fact, we were still in contact. Because it wasn't long ago he was out on a green river fishing. Oh, nice. Uh, did you have any wrestling idols or wrestling stars? You, you know, not so much while I was competing in wrestling, you know, individually. Um, but, but later as I got into coaching, uh, I developed a tremendous amount of respect for Dan Gable. And I, I had some opportunity. When I was at San Luis Obispo at Cal Poly, uh, when he and I were both sophomores, uh, we wrestled, and obviously he won since he hadn't lost yet. But anyway, uh, and that was kind of well, he's just another wrestler type deal. But then when when uh, I got into the coaching and and he was done competing, and he was coaching. Um, I just I just liked the way the man handled himself and his teams and. Um, so I guess I looked up and respected him a lot. Ran into him a couple of clinics, and um, worked. I uh, helped at the '84 Olympics where Dan was coaching, and our families got to hang out a little bit. But anyway, yeah, a tremendous amount of respect for Dan. Yeah, yeah. I think most of us had a lot of respect for him. Yeah. Uh, what personal attribute? contributed most to your success in wrestling, either either as a competitor or a long-time coach? An attribute, huh, Jeff? Um, I, I, think, I think what my parents instilled in me was uh, um, no matter how good you get at it or whatever, is if, if you work hard and uh, Give it your best, that that you'll succeed, and that's that's what I tried to do because I didn't consider myself a a great wrestler, especially when I first started because I didn't start till I was a sophomore. And but uh, what they taught me to do seemed to work pretty good, so I just kept doing it. Pass that on to your athletes too. Definitely, that was that was one of the major goals as a coach. What was the most outstanding memory you have from your career in the sport of wrestling? Well, I think probably the most outstanding memory. It just happened to happened to be the uh, the year that was my final year as a head coach, because I'd planned on stepping down and turning it over to uh, somebody I thought that would really carry on. Chris Perry at uh, Tascadero. And the year before, we had, which for us, I thought was a fairly, it was a good year, but I, I didn't have any real um, star wrestlers, you know, and we, we, we finished as we do, usually do, pretty respectable, but I did feel that the next year was going to be a, a, a good year. And uh, in fact, we always picked a little motivational motto to put on our poster the, of, of beginning of the season. And that year, even though we didn't have any accomp real accomplished wrestlers, our motto was a season to remember. And that season, we went ahead and did regular season. We were undefeated in dual meets on all levels, cross JV and varsity. We won every tournament that we went to on all levels. 
freshman JV and sophomore. Then we won Southern California uh, CIF individual and dual meet as a team, you know, team championship. And uh, it was a year to remember. Yeah, sounds like it. It sounds like a good one. Uh, what got you involved in the sport? Did uh, your coach recruit you, Erwin? Yes, I had him as a, uh, well, freshman year, and I'd played freshman football, and, and then I was, I played freshman basketball, and I had Erwin as a um, PE teacher. And probably no surprise, but he had a pretty good wrestling unit in his PE class. And I, I did pretty well, and I liked it. And, and he, uh, the one time he, he asked me, uh, he says, uh, how come you're playing basketball? <laughs> I said, well, I like basketball. My brother was a good basketball player. And he says, how tall do you think you're going to get? I don't know. He says, well, you do a lot better in wrestling than you would in basketball. And so the sophomore year then, I tried wrestling. And that, I became hooked. Yeah, yeah, he was a major influence. Yeah, I, I'm sure he, that was an influence for you on how to recruit kids, because you've always had a lot of kids out for your program. Uh, that helped, yeah, that, that, that helped. If you had the opportunity to start your career over again, would you change anything, Dan? The main thing I would change is, uh, as a college wrestler, I probably I probably would have moved up a weight or two. I, for, for the sake of the team, they, they needed me at 137s. Uh, my normal weight was about 61, 65 or so. And um, it, it became where that was a bigger, as big a challenge as, as the wrestling was, you know? And, and it, it, it really took a lot of pleasure out of it. And I think it, um, if I was gonna do it over again, I would have definitely, no matter who was the weight above me, I just, I would have gone up a weight and, and hopefully won there. Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. In fact, if, if students came to me and said, call it, so and so and I, we, we want to go down to, uh, uh, we're going to drop, you know, because we'd be better. And they weren't packing much extra weight anyway. And uh, especially in a, like in Atascadero, I had uh, access to Cal Poly facilities and they had a dunk, they had a dunk tank. And, and so we would, we would always, I always did skin fold tests, but we would come go and dunk them and, and find out where their um, body fat was. And then I'd make a decision for them. Yeah. And I, like I said, I did with everybody, I'd do skin folds and I didn't, I didn't want them not enjoying the real aspects of the sport. And, th and that came from my experiences in college. Yeah, I bet it did. What would you like people to remember about Dan Fry? Well, I, uh, I would like people to remember that uh, I ran good overall programs. You know, it wasn't loaded with talent every year, but I always, my, I always strived that the worst kid I had on a team, especially on the varsity particularly, but the, the, my worst varsity wrestler was a good wrestler. And, and as a result, we were always very, very solid dual meet teams. And if you, if you can get that, then you're gonna have, periodic, periodically, you're, you're gonna have the, the real good kid too. And I found that just um, teaching to make every kid Reach, reach the what I wanted to do is be as good as I could be. 
And if I reached every kid on being as can, good as they can be, we'd do all right. And we did all right. You sure did. Yeah. Well, congratulations, uh, Dan, and uh, for being inducted in the California Resident Hall. It's a great honor to me. Thank you very much, Jeff.